In our previous video, we studied about a second order derivative filter, which was a high boost filter that was also used for image enhancement. But now we are going to study about some first order derivative filters, which are used for image enhancement. And these filters are also very simple, just like the high boost filter. So there are basically three types of uh, first order derivative filters. The first one that I'm going to introduce is the Roberts operator. We also call this filter as cross gradient. So why do we call it cross gradient? Because you can see that in this filter, uh, these ones are positioned on diagonals or we can say on cross uh, gradients. That is why these Robert operators are called cross gradients. So if we have an image like this, in which these Z's are representing the pixels of the image. So we can apply this filter on this image on the uh, required pixels where we want to perform the enhancement operation. But actually there are some problems with Robert, op uh, Robert filters or Robert operators. Number one is that these are two by, uh, two by two masks, right? The size of these filters is two by two. So because the size is very small, so they are not very easy to implement. We have to take a lot of time in moving them from pixel to pixel in the image. Uh, there are a lot of calculations which are required. Similarly, the number of neighboring pixels which we consider in one go are less. So it definitely needs more time and more computations. To solve these problems, we make the following changes. We can change the size of the mask. We can uh, change the number of neighboring pixels which we are considering. So if we make these two changes, naturally we are not going to have this uh, operator anymore so the operator will in, uh, become larger in size so when the operator becomes larger in size then actually we are introducing another type of operator so that other type of operator is called sobel operator and privet operator both these operators are actually three by three uh, size masks and they have such configuration that in Sobel operator, we have a row of numbers like minus one, minus two, minus one on the top. Then there is a row of zeros and then there is a row of one, two and one on the bottom. Similarly, we can also uh, write Sobel operator in this way that these rows are replaced with columns and zero is also introduced as column and one, two, one also comes as a column. So this uh, first version is used to detect uh, horizontal edges and this second version is used to detect the vertical edges uh, in the privet operator uh, the configuration is a little bit different instead of this uh, minus 2 we get minus 1 in the middle so it's you we can say it's a bit simpler as compared to Sobel otherwise the configuration is the same we get a row of zeros similarly just like Sobel and then we get uh, these ones without negative signs the first row was with negative signs and the bottom row is without negative signs similarly it has also got two versions in the second version these uh, negative ones have came as a column and these positive ones have also came as columns with a zero in the middle so this one this version is used to basically detect vertical edges and this version is used to detect horizontal edges here we can solve an example to understand how are we going to apply these filters. So we have got an image. Uh, this is the basically, this is an image which is a 3 by 3 image and these values are representing the pixel intensity values. Uh, we have been told that we have to apply the Robert, Sobel and Privet filters on this uh, pixel which is uh, pixel 1, 1. Maybe in the question you can be marked on a pixel or you can be told that on this specific pixel you have to apply the filters so first first of all before applying any filters you have to make this thing very clear in your mind that whenever we are doing image enhancements by neighborhood techniques although we are dealing with all the neighbors we are multiplying all the neighbors neighbors of the image with the whatever the value of the pixels whatever the value of the filter is but impact only comes on the center filter you never have to change the value of all the filters so that can be the biggest mistake that can be done so never change all the values of all the values in the image only deal with the central value of the pixel uh, which is actually enhanced because that is the only pixel on which you are applying the enhancement all right let's start with applying robot filter which is the simplest one 
and we know that the values only appear in the form of these gradients so when you put this minus 1 over here and you put this one over here then 50 will be multiplied with minus 1 and 100 will be multiplied with 1 and in the answer you get 50 so this 50 is coming out as the new value which you can replace in place of this 50 but since it is already 50 so you not don't need to replace uh, if of course there was a different answer maybe 30 maybe 20 maybe 60 maybe 90 then of course you had to replace it over there now let's come to the Sobel filter so we will repeat the same steps with Sobel filter so you can see that first of all uh, this minus 1 minus 2 and minus 1 these will be multiplied with the first row first row of your image 50 50 and 100 because you know it's a 3 by 3 mask so the center position of this mask which is 0 will be exactly mapped over the center position of your image in the question if you have been asked to process this image then you will place the mask over here maybe in the question if you are asked to do enhancement on let's assume this uh, pixel or let's assume this pixel then you will place the center pixel of your mask over there not over here so it all depends how you are asked the question for me i have marked this pixel right now so that is why i'm placing the center position of the mask over here so when i placed it here i multiplied the first row of the image with minus one minus two and minus one you can see here minus one minus two and minus one the second row is all zero so it converted it came out to be zeros we will take zero as center element and we multiply all the elements of the image with all of the filters and this 50 50 and 100 is multiplying with 1 2 and 1 from this row so in the end we are getting minus 50 minus 100 minus 100 plus 50 plus 100 plus 100 so we get zero so now we will paste this zero over there in the central pixel position of the image so you can see that the central pixel uh, value of the image has been changed after applying this Sobel filter now in the end we are going to apply the privet filter so when we apply the privet filter this is our privet filter minus one minus one minus one it's going to multiply with the first row because you know again the center pixel of the uh, mask or the filter has been placed has been mapped over the central pixel of the image uh, the last row is going to be multiplied with the last row and it is again minus one multiplied with this 1 multiplied with this coming out to be 0 so again we will put this take this 0 and we will place it here on the central position I'm again emphasizing that I am replacing this 0 over there not on all the filters if you have been asked to do it for this uh, pixel then you had to place this uh, central pixel of your filter on there and you had to do maybe a 0 padding over there or maybe you could replicate these values up on the top line and then in that position you would be changing the value of that pixel but now for now for the sake of ease I have selected the center pixel so I'm going to put this zero over there on this central value if you like this video do share thank you very much Allah Hafiz